Hello, this is Skibby, and today we've got Battle Box again. This is Mission 102, and uh, on the Battle Box group, a uh, new person asked what our favorite stuff to get was. Um, he didn't specify uh, Battle Box or other, but these are my two favorite knives from Battle Box. I bought this one separate. So I, would, I didn't get this one in the box, but um, this Fox Edge thing uh, kind of seemed kind of cheap, <laughs> but I, I keep coming back to it because it fits my hand so good. But anyway, let's get into this thing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Opening it up, and we got a bunch of stuff. New thing from Rhino, Bloody Blue. Here, let's check this out. Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh no, there's some blue. It's not all just yellow. Is there some blue? So, wasn't taking monochrome. That's good to know. Pretty sure I'm like the only person who cares about that. And I don't really, so, you know. All right. I'm gonna do these a little bit out of order. Oh, let's see what it says here. Um, welcome Battle Box subscribers to Mission 102. And this month's mission packed with gear to enhance everyday life and add to your preps. <coughs> Excuse me. From camp convenience to cutting tools, yep. Here comes Crunchy trying to trying to pack my shot. Um, yeah, stop intro, jibber jabber. Yep. Okay. Basic box. I'm gonna do some of these out of order because we got this Kuju coffee thing. I don't. Know, what the hell? Cast is walking. Okay, you want up there? Come on, man. Why don't you tell me these things before I start doing stuff? Now you got a baby, too. Alright. So we got this Kuju coffee. This is their medium roast. This is my preferred. I've I've gotten I've gotten this one outside of any any box or anything. Um Iro, come on. Um, and they also have a dark blend to my knowledge. I think they might have other blends, but these are the two that are available to me. So instead of opening this one, I'm going to use the last of the one that I don't really care for. It's got a tear tab, right? So it comes out like this. Cute little filter bag, right? It's got these fun wings. You can open up. And sit on top of a mug. So if you have a wide mouth mug, you may need to bend it or do something else. Now, at the top, there's a perforation um, that you can use. And it opens up all square style like this. So that you can uh, use it as a pour over. But some people think the pour overs are way too bougie. Or they may, like me currently have a cup full of hot water anyway and all we gotta do see is do it a dunk and then it'll it'll start brewing so we're gonna set that aside and I'm gonna have my coffee that way this morning but um, this stuff's pretty good the medium stuff the bold is uh, kinda bitter in my opinion I'm not a too terrible of a coffee snob, but I do prefer, you know, stuff to taste like stuff. And uh, this stuff tastes pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so we got that. That's pretty cool. What else? What else? We'll keep that over here. Let's go back and try and go in order. All right, we got these. Okay, 
what do they call it? The Slotlock Steaks. We have a hammer face and it's, it's kind of a cleat. But then I think this is most supposed to be used as a cleat. We got these grooves to, to shimmy cord into so it can press fits, which is kind of nice. And it does go through so you can. Uh... Excuse me, my nose this morning, man. I don't have any tissues, so I'm just going to be a sniffles. My bad. Well, pass through so you can thread a guy line through there and cinch it up this way probably pull it through and then you can tighten it lock it up and in and then lock it across there or something i'm not sure i'm just making stuff up let's read the directions feed it cinch it okay lock it hey oh and then it says pass back through okay for a permanent lock whatever anyway <laughs> I guess you can also use it as a cleat if you want. Um, that's no problem. Slot lock it. I've heard people uh, really, really like these. I've never used these before, so we'll see how they go. They're definitely pretty lightweight. They look hefty. Some kind of hefty boys. And last night, exploring it all, uh, did theirs, and it came through as kind of a pea green on on camera. But uh, that could just be. <laughs> well, we can blame their California internet. I don't know. Um, they do kind of look like pea soup to me. Um, a little bit more neon, but I, I don't know. It's still pretty. Uh, I don't know, food looking. <laughs> I'll put that over there. Drip a droop my coffee some more. Alright, what do we got next? Because we already did the kuju. And again, that stuff's pretty good. Panther Vision Gumby Lamp LED Headlamp. Where's that? Where's that? Here's that. Okay. Gumby lamp. Uh, try me. Oh boy. It's hard to try something that is out of juice. Comes with a charger. This is a uh, micro USB. Are you going to get down, baby boy? Come on. You need help? You can make it. This is a micro USB, which is kind of interesting. Um... <clears throat> but, you know, as long as you have a power brick, you should be good to go, right? Um, we got this stretchy action on the back. There's a, an adjustable bead about there. I don't know if you can see that. But this thing comes out. Um, I would <laughs> open this on camera, but I don't, I don't want to cut myself. <laughs> Um, well, let's try it. Oh, no, that's easy. My bad. Yeah. We'll just break it out. We'll just break it out. At home in the future, uh, did this and, and it took him a minute, so I was, I was worried. But here's the adjust a bead. Just a little piece of plastic with a, a division groove in there. And, um, you know, you just pull it back, forwards and backwards to adjust. And then this thing is has an inset for the rubber gusset. Right? And then there's the recharging plug. It's very lightweight. And, uh... You know, you don't need much if you're just out doing silly camp stuff. I know the last headlamp we got <laughs> puts out like 1,100 lumens. Let's see how much this does. 
Oh, pro tip, to open it, you can just lift up on this tab and then it folds open. Pro tip. Pro tip. Any slip, yeah, bloody blue, high, medium, low. Okay, what do we got? High is 80 lumens, medium is 35, and low is 15. Okay, so, you know, kind of low output, but honestly, if you're just if you're just getting up in the middle of the night, use the head. That's not a lot. I mean, you don't need you don't need a lot. You don't need a hundred lumens. You don't need a thousand lumens. Honestly, that 15 is probably going to be the most used. But yeah. So that's pretty okay. And crunchy. Little baby boy. He's doing silly stuff. Alright, what do we got next? Oh, you're not going to Vanna White it up, boy? Alright. We got a Gear Aid Nye Glow. Clippy Clip. Keychain job. You don't get to get attack that string. That's not a string, honey. That's a wire. I think we got a teal. What do we want to call this color? I don't know. It looks like a blue casing with a with a green insert. All right. Glows for up to ten hours. That's nice. Charging sun or artificial light for ten minutes. Okay. <clears throat> No, 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 nice. What's all this stuff? Zip ties. I almost cut myself on that. All right. <laughs> all right, so this is a fully encased uh, doodle bop. I don't know what you want to call it. Glow fob. That's, that's probably its actual name. Um, we've got a key ring, and then we got these fun things. Look at this. It's got little little pluggy inserts. I don't know what, what you, what's that one for. What is that for? Where did the thing go? Does it say? It doesn't say. I don't know what that's for. It does kind of look like a cleat. But I guess you just take these and plug it into this hole in the top. And then expect it to stay. I'm not sure. I don't know. Options are clear, green, orange, yellow, or blue. I don't know what we want to call that. Because it doesn't, it's not, it's not this green to be sure. I don't know. Blue? We can call that blue. Blue's fine. Where am I going to put this? Now, um, in terms of glowy items... Sorry about the traffic outside. I guess a big truck just passed by. Um, I wanted to make some known that would fit in a similar um, niche, I guess. If you like glowy stuff. Um, I got a bunch in Going Gear. If you don't subscribe to Going Gear, maybe consider it if you like EDC stuff and knives. Because, like, last box, <laughs> we got three knives. Um, so, here's another glow fob. <clears throat> I think this one's from uh, Maratac or Maritac. They do government contract uh, production stuff. This is, you know, similar glowy stuff. Um, in an aluminum case. This one glows pretty good because I think it's... Uh, Specially designed, military, bloody blue, man, I don't know. Glow stuff's glow stuff. Um, but this one's smaller. And uh, maybe won't get dinged up as bad because it's got an aluminum casing. And it comes with a fun clip. Along a similar vein, we got this thing in going gear. Glow tube. I guess it's glow-tube.com if you want to check them out. But there's a battery in here. Um, so it is battery powered, AAA. Uh, but what it does is it's a flashlight light. And uh, you can cycle through some uh, settings if you want. Um, so... You know, similar vein. And then another similar vein that um, 
Some folks may prefer, I don't know. Um, this is a glow card with a hook back Velcro action. You know, just more glow stuff. So these three I got in going gear. Um, so it's kind of fun to see some kind of crossover, I guess. Going gear battle box stuff. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So that's the basic box. That's what? Um, I think they upped it to 35 a month. We're back to four items. That's pretty cool. And my coffee looks about done. I'm going to take a sip. Sorry. Mmm. Tastes a little bit like roasted popcorn today. Not that that's a bad thing. Why are you knocking your mama's stuff over? Oh, you boy. All right. <clears throat> so 35. I'm not mad about any of that stuff. I really like the Kuju coffee. Um, these are kind of... The, the light and the glow fob are kind of... Uh, Low on my necessities list. Are you going to knock my light over too, you baby boy? Um, <laughs> you are <laughs> a little butt. Um, slot steaks, I'm excited to try out. We guy some stuff out in the yard all the time. Clotheslines and stuff. So it might be nice to try those instead of using a sigh like I am currently. But anyway, <clears throat> let's move to the advanced box. I think this is about 60 65 bucks a month, so you get all this crap. It's not crap. Stuff. I'm just talking. You know what I mean? Um, we got the BattleBox Onyx. Versatile Fixed Blade. Okay. I don't know. I first saw it. It looked look to me like a Mora. Um, overall length, 9 inches. HCR 14 MOV. You want to back up in the thing? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you do. There you go. Little baby boy. Let's break it out, man. Comes an attractive box. So, box game's on point and it's taped. Alright. But I guess that's okay because some folks were complaining that, like, it broke loose and was bouncing around uh, in shipment. I don't know. My guys are usually pretty good. I know, I know some folks uh, have their stuff broken all, and, and beat up all the time. My guys are usually pretty good. But then again, I'm right next to a central hub. So, you know, there's less of a chance for folks to uh, be annoyed working <laughs> and, and throw stuff around like they do. Anyway... We got this uh, fob lanyard on the back. This is just the outer shell of paracord, by the way. Shabadum bang, some knife. The handle, pretty full. Feels like there's steel in there. Let's test it. Okay, so balance is about here. Yeah, and if this was nothing but plastic, um, you couldn't do that. So, this is at least a thick, thick push tang, or something, I think. I don't know. The blade's kind of attractive. I like the looks of it. It's kind of thin, but that's not a bad thing. Um... Feels flat grind or very shallow hollow. But this handle <laughs> reminds me of uh, Bud K or Smoky Mountain Knife Work uh, boot knives that they would put in or try and get you to buy for an additional like four bucks or something. That's what it feels like. I don't I don't uh, think it'll be a user like those because the sheath's pretty okay, man. We got the BattleBox helmet. Let me put this away because that wily boy cats I'm thinking about jumping back down. Um, it's got a drain hole. 
I'm not, oh wow, yep, not excited about that at all. It's a very flimsy uh, belt keeper. Wow, okay. Might pull that off. <laughs> if you're going to use this, push on your sheath when you draw, by the way. Yeah. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Probably going to take that lanyard off. Not much into it. Civivi does that with some of their stuff. So, you know. Alright. Moving right along at the speed of math, we come to our pro box. We got a Rhino USA kinetic rope or kinetic recovery rope. This is the largest item in the box. You're gonna get down. See what a good boy! I know you can get down. I know you can. It comes in this cool. Uh, I don't know. Gray camo. I don't want to call it Arctic because I guess I guess it's black, black cam. <clears throat> People really like multi cam black. I'm I'm more of an Arctic guy, or just a tried and true <laughs> woodland camo. So I guess this is kind of part bungee cord, part uh, tow rope. I don't go mudding, so this might be um, outside of anything that I would use. Let's see, let's see. It'll still bite. Somebody said it wouldn't bite. That bites just fine. Yeah, it's thicker, but I mean, folks tied ropes and shipping lines, too. And that stuff's thicker than this. I don't know. So I guess you can use this to tie knots. Definitely put an alpine butterfly in the middle if you need to. I don't know why you would, but, you know, not using it for its intended purpose. Oh, that one's taped on. The other side's not. That's probably really loud coming across the camera, and I'm sorry about it. So, it looks like we have, uh, you know, uh, a splice... Splice loop, which is kind of nice. Three quarters inch kinetic rope. Working load limit is uh, 6,655 pounds. That's pretty all right. What's that? Three, three and a quarter tons. Minimum breaking strength is almost 20,000 pounds. 10 tons. That's pretty cool. Using the American tons, not the... Uh, metric tons I guess we can convert it but man it's early I don't want to do math but yeah well, I guess I can just convert the pound yeah yeah I could do that oh well not gonna do it anyway um, this is our last item I'll put this back together later that's pretty cool to have um, got a buddy that goes off-roading or I might just keep it I don't know I've got a standard tow line that I can keep in my car oh gel pack um, oh I didn't see the Rhino USA stickers it might be in the bottom of the bag that's no big deal I don't need 15 more <laughs> they're nice stickers I'm just I'm just complaining um, so that's pretty cool Again, I don't have much of a use. Nobody plans on getting caught in a ditch, though. So, you know, it might be nice to have. It's a big bag, though. It takes up a lot of space. Anyway, um, that's where my uh, subscription stops. At the Pro, that's around 120-ish a month, something like that. And then for an additional 50 bucks, you can opt for the Pro Plus box. And this go round we got, or other people, not me, got this ATAC Ghost. 
Attack Ghost. Ooh, ah. Um, this has been kind of, uh, I don't know. Some folks don't like it. Looks like it fills out the hand pretty okay, but, you know, I don't, I'm, I, I can't hold it, so I can't say anything about it. We got a strap cutter in the back that is nail nicked, and I think it's a slip joint. I don't know. Does it say? Designed by somebody, Adam Adam Siegmiller. I don't know that guy. Um, partial serration, drop point, liner lock. Looks like we got a carbon fiber overlay. That's kind of fun. Flipper tab, we got a uh, glass breaker when the night when the blade is closed. Which is kind of cool. Taken after uh, Chris Reeve Umdum's on. <laughs> Comparing that knife to this one. Um, anyway. So that's what we missed out on. That's no big deal. Alright, let's start over from the beginning. Ooh, nice little overview. What do we got? We got the slot steaks. Those are pretty cool. We got some pour over coffee, camp coffee stuff. That's pretty nice. We got a headlamp, a uh, glow fob, fun little, fun little knife, and a tow rope. And then Pro Plus guys got this fun folder. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully my camera angles were better today. I lifted it up a little bit more. Um, and we're testing the 25 minute limit on this one also. Sorry about that. Distracted by cats again. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Because this is Saturday. And uh, yeah. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.